Eva here with Eva LaVey Arts and today I'm going to be using this colorful life paper stack to be making a deconstructed art journal page. So I'm just going to put this in speed mode and I'm going to start out by doing some jelly printing on the back side of this uh, paper and pulling out some colors here that I think will go and then I'll be pulling out some stencils and doing some play. I'm using a letter size piece of copy paper to clean off my brayer and I'll be using that later to create an envelope for my page. I'm just taking a round brush and some red paint to color in some little flowers here and there. And I'll give this a quick dry. And then I will be going in with some FW acrylic ink and creating some drippage. And I want to give it a quick dry between each of the colors. I'm just taking some coordinating paper and cutting out some little pockets for the inside of the page using my paper trimmer and I'll just glue those on with some mono adhesive. I decided just to do one actually. Then I'll take this paper strip and cut it down even further and glue that to the edge just to balance out the page with that pattern. And now I'm taking some black ink and memento to add some uh, black edges to the page. This page has quite a bit of detail and texture to it, so what I'm going to do is use a little bit of gesso to color in some areas that I can add my own artwork to. I'm taking my Stabilo pencil and I noticed that there was the shape of 
uh, part of a face. So I'm drawing that in and then I will go in with my Neocolor 2 uh, water soluble crayons to add some color. And then I'll just take this uh, water brush to activate the color and give it a dry. Now I'll do the same to the back side of the page with some gesso just where I'm going to be adding in my own colors and doodles here. Now unfortunately my battery died at some point during this process so you will miss a little bit of it but I will try to I explain what I did once we come back to it. Now here I am adding some washi tape to the inside spread and then I'm taking this napkin with the, the saying the best things in life are unseen. That's why we close our eyes when we kiss, laugh, and dream. I thought that was really sweet. Uh, so I just put that on there with some matte medium, let it dry, and then I'm taking another piece of paper from that paper stack and I just cut out a little tag with it and I'm using some blue gelato along the edges and then my fine liner with some white acrylic paint in it to add the word love and a little heart and then I'll go around the edges after that's dry with uh, the fine liner to add some dots to the edge. And then I will attach a little piece of ribbon to it uh, once it's dry. Oh, and then I also put some gelato uh, in the back and activated that with water just to add some color to the back side and give that a nice dry and then I will add the ribbon to the tag. I wanted to add some black to the edges of the pocket so I ended up using a gelato and rubbing that on and then I put my nice cute little tag in there. And I'm trying to use up some of my washi tape that I had, so I'm adding this to the back spread, which you could briefly see I had added some paint and doodles to. And I'm going to add some washi tape to this spread as well. I love washi tape and I've got a ton of it and I just don't use it enough, so I'm trying to incorporate it into this page. 
Now here I am adding the sentiment Cherish Your Connections to the back and then taking a white Posca pen and adding some dots around the saying. Uh, for my background I had added various colors of Dilutions paint and then went in with a black Posca pen to add some circles and lines. And again just going over the edge of the inside with some more black ink on the edges. And then adding here some um, matte medium over the washi tape. I want to make sure that it stays put. So I'm just using my finger to go over all the little pieces of washi tape on this page and giving it a nice dry. And then I'm done. So this is the completed art journal page and there's more information below on the deconstructed art journal group I think you should check it out they're a great group and next I will show you the envelope I made now here I wanted to show you the envelope that I made and this is some Americana decor soft touch varnish that I added to the envelope so that it wouldn't stick to other pieces of mail when it's being sent uh, I just glued the edges of this tri-folded piece of paper. On the back I used my paper cutter to create these angles so that it looked more like an envelope and glued that down. And that concludes this project. I hope you enjoyed it. Give me a thumbs up if you will, share with your friends, and subscribe if you already haven't. Again, thanks for watching. Have a good one.